Hi, this is Dr. Hubbard checking in with you again with another video. Uh, this one specifically is going to address male sexual health and erectile dysfunction. Um, so a couple of days ago I was having a conversation with my friends on group chat about um, how one of the particular individuals um, felt like an 18 year old kid again after some lifestyle alteration um, consisting of a week of no intoxicants in his diet and a pretty much all raw diet um, and how his wife thanked him for it. And so we laughed and chuckled about it, but I began to make me think, wow, that's a pretty interesting topic, something that most people would probably be interested in knowing, whether you're one of the fellas or whether you're a concerned um, lady who just wants to see her man or her significant other uh, function optimally. So just in general, over time, guys, our cardiovascular system gets overwhelmed. It's constantly pumping around oxygen and nutrients throughout our system and the small lining of our arteries and veins gets damaged over time just because of the amount of, of things that we introduce into the bloodstream and everything like that. And so the small microvasculature of the penis can get compromised. And so that's the number one reason why people tend to have difficulty either uh, obtaining or maintaining an erection uh, because the small microvasculature get overwhelmed and there's just not enough blood that reaches the corpus cavernosa which stores blood during an erection. Um, also, from a psychogenic standpoint, over time we just become less confident in our sexuality, our hormones change. Um, over time, testosterone decreases if we're not exercising and we're not introducing the right foods into our system to maintain a healthy endocrine system. All right, so small things like uh, eating a raw diet that it improves the overall health of your cardiovascular system, exercising on a regular basis to improve the cardiovascular system can literally turn around somebody who maybe not even is in full-fledged erectile dysfunction, but just is not obtaining or maintaining um, the, the level of erection that they're normally accustomed to. So that's an important point I want to drop by. Um, also, stress reduction and exercise increase our endorphins, it increases our confidence, it makes us feel good as men to look good, feel good, and maintain a healthy mentality. So uh, things like yoga, things like stress relief other than smoking and drinking, which is common um, when you're trying to reduce stress, can be beneficial uh, specifically for the sexual health of your organs and, and, as well as just your general approach to um, making love to your lady and things that go on in the bedroom. So guys, I just want to drop by um, you know, with a little bit of physiology to explain exactly what's going on when you're actually trying to establish an erection and also how to maintain that erection. Another key point is talking about Kegel exercises. So in many instances, when you talk about Kegels, you're thinking about how a lady is going to strengthen her pelvic floor and um, the muscles around the pubis bone. Men can also do that by simply um, strengthening and tightening and contracting those muscles that allow us to urinate or not urinate. And so by strengthening those muscles on a regular basis by uh, holding contraction and isometric, isometric contractions, um, you can really see a change in your ability to maintain an erection and also to control ejaculation. So guys, um, once again, this is Dr. Hubbard checking in with you with some sexual health tips and some ways to address uh, decline in your uh, erectile um, health and also how to address erectile dysfunction. Um, don't forget that any questions you may have, any concerns that you may have, or any topics that you might want me to cover, you can reach me at DJ, I'm sorry, Dr. JB Hubbard, MD, at gmail.com. And I'll be sure to answer those questions as quickly as I possibly can. And also we'll get other videos into the, the groove um, that maybe address something specific that you want to hear about. So guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you on the next video.